we're going to review the new grant, grant request and see how an administrator processes this application. So let's say we want to see a listing of existing grant and applications. We'll click Grants and Apps under Microsoft Dynamics CRM drop-down. Once we're here, we'll see a list of all the grants and applications. So we'll scroll through until we find the one we need, which is the one created with the contact Kim Rawls. So we'll double click it and it will open. We can scroll down to see all of the different sections and right now we have all of the main information, the grant program, the case title, the eligibility category, the grant number, and then when we scroll we would see any other information associated with this record like the financials and drawdowns, payment requests, payment advancements, reimbursements, and disbursements. The administrator can start the grant scoring process right within Grants Manager Plus. Grant scoring may be simple or complex depending on the number of reviewers and the criteria used. So we'll go down to the section that says Review Management. We'll first see a list of all of the active reviewers. Reviewers track all the people you have signed as internal or external reviewers. Their names and addresses are stored in the contacts entity, so you have to re-enter them. If we click on Reviewers Reviews, this is the option under Review Management where we can see the scores that have been given to application. These scores are also displayed in the grant application within the grant itself. Grants Manager Plus also includes this Grant Award Wizard, which is under Wizards and Audits and Project Scoring. So we'll go ahead and click New to add a new Project Scoring Wizard. We'll choose grantor application or program, which is what it defaults to. You'll type in the wizard name. For now, we'll just type in the test wizard, test wizard. And then you'll see this next button. We'll go ahead and click this to continue to the next steps. You must select a project to score from the grid below. And then once it's selected, you can click next to continue the wizard. Then you'll choose each project criterion from the grid below. And this is to review and give the score, and then you'll click Finish. Now we want to go ahead and approve the application. We'll go ahead and click Add New Payment Disbursement. And we'll create a payment disbursement. So we'll fill in the disbursement date, either by selecting from the date picker, or we could have typed it in if we wanted. And we'll also type in the disbursement amount. Lastly, we have to type in the disbursement name. So we'll go ahead and fill in this. We'll name it First Period Payment. And once we're done, we'll save this. So now the disbursement base, the disbursement payment will be associated to that project performance report. As I said in the beginning, we want to go ahead and add two project performance reports to this application. So we're going to go ahead and add the second one. If we go back and look at the project performance reports, you'll see the two Q1 report and Q2 report that we had just added. Grants Manager Plus automates the grant award process using a wizard. So we'll go ahead and find the one that was submitted by Kim. Once we're here, we want to go up to the top navigation and click the drop down next to Urban Intermediate and we'll scroll through until we find the one that says Grant Awards. So we'll click on this and then we'll click Add New Award Wizard. Once you do this, you'll notice that some of the information fills in for you. Um, we'll go ahead and choose the program, which is the HIV Prevention Program for Health Departments. And now all of this information is populated based on that program. Now we'll go ahead and click Next Step, just like a normal wizard. You must click the electronic signature button at the bottom to review the data and verify it, and then you'll click Next, and you'll do this for both of the wizards. Now we're going to switch back to the process as the grantee. So now we'll see a listing of all of the applications with their status, whether it's in draft status, pending submission, or it's been submitted. So that's where we can go to view this information. We can also view the grants information by clicking on the grants underneath applications in the left hand side. So we'll go ahead and click on grants. And now you'll see we can see which grants have been approved. We also can click on any of the grants and view the 
payment requests and financial information. So we could click financials and click on payment advancements. Now we'll see all the payment advances information. We can also see the reimbursements and the payment disbursements associated with this grant. If we click payment requests, we can see all of the payment request information for this grant. And then you'll notice that the last tab is performance reports. This allows you to see all of the payment requests and displays all of the information pertaining to performance reports. We are now going to switch user roles and look at the system from an AX user's perspective. The AX user's organization leverages the native AX interface for their work. We're going to click Accounts Payable in the left-hand navigation, and then we're going to go under Grants and click All Grants. We'll navigate to the grant awarded in previous steps and we'll open it. We can navigate to it by looking at the grant case number. Once we open it, we can view the information that was sent from CR, CRM to AX. And you'll note the vendor account is related to the grant. We can also look at all of the vendor accounts by scrolling down and clicking on all vendors. We can navigate to the vendor tied to the grant mentioned in previous steps and open it. And we can view the information that was sent from CRM to AX. Now we're going to switch back to CRM to submit a payment request. So first we want to open up the desired grant or application by selecting from the complete list under grants and applications. So we'll double click on the application and when the window opens we're going to click on the drop down arrow next to grants or applications and we're going to go to the area that says payment requests. So we'll click on payment requests and we'll go ahead and click add new payment request. So we're going to enter in the required information such as the recipient who's approving the application. So we can either choose the lookup or we can type in a name and when it comes up we can click on it. And then we'll put in the total requested amount which will be $12,000. And then once we're done with this we'll go ahead and click save. This will save the new payment request. Now we're going to switch back to AX to approve the payment request or the AP invoice. So we open AX and we're going to click on Accounts Payable in the left hand navigation. Then we'll go up to where it says All AP Invoices and click on this. Then we want to find the invoice that we want and we can find this by looking at the grant case number that's associated with the same CRM record. We can view all the information that was sent from CRM to AX. We can update the AP invoice with an approved date. Once we choose the approved date and we save this record, the information will be synced to CRM. So we'll go up to the top and click File and Save. And then all of this information will be relayed to CRM. We'll now create the funding authorization record in AX. So we'll go to the left hand side and click Accounts Payable and then we'll go ahead and click All Funding Authorizations. We'll click New Funding Authorization in the left hand side of the top ribbon. We'll type in the grant case number. This is the case number that's generated in CRM. We'll put in the budget code as GA and then we'll type in the amount and we'll put in 12,000. And then we'll check if it's pre-encumbered or if it's budget reserved and for this we'll choose budget reserved. Then we'll go to the top navigation and save the new funding authorization. Now we're going to switch back to CRM to view the budget activity that was created in response to the funding authorization created in AX. So we'll open up the desired grant or application by selecting the one from the list and now we'll see the application. When the window opens we're going to want to go up to the top ribbon bar and click the drop down and click budget activities and now we'll see the new budget activity that was created by AX. We'll see it has the amount of $12,000. We can open it and see all of the information that was pulled over from AX such as the activity type which was grants and the description and the checkbox budget reserve that we had selected in AX.